Happily at it. So let me just ask a question. Oh, oh. How do y'all make it work? Y'all been doing this almost a decade. How, how, what, good what? loving. Good loving. What does that mean, though? Because the world doesn't have enough good loving, so they have to borrow some of y'all loving to make it a better place. How do y'all do it? That's what yeah. I'm saying. This ain't for sale. Listen. Listen. This is for real. This is for the people. It's for the world to help them. We got to heal the world like MJ say. So how do we do it? How do y'all stay in happily love? Like, is it always perfect? Prayer. Prayer. Wow. That's important. And what else? After prayer, like, how do you put it in the work? Like, what do you do physically to make it? Brother Mar, can you tell the, tell the world, like, what it is that you do? You know, I, I mean, I see how genuine it is, you know. And what's important is I always see y'all with your kids, like, all the time. Like, I think it's so necessary because there's so many parents that let their relationship um, hinder the kids' relationship. And we just got to make it better. Waking up, getting rid of disease, that's what we do. And, and, and we, we love our children and we support our child. We are child supporters, but some people just forget. I want to say they forget how significant the role of the parents, both parents, because we're seeing so many single-parent homes, you know, and we want to know from young generation, because you guys are, are influencing the younger generation. Essentially, y'all are the old heads now. You know, what are you, 20, 27, 28? 26. 26. 26 years old. See what I'm saying? How old are you, Miss White? 26. 26. 26 years old. I'm 25. And I'm just trying to learn, because the second go around, I'm not, I'm not getting a divorce again. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make it work, but, but I just want to know, what, what is it that y'all do? You say, you know, it's prayer. Communication. Communication. Now, what do y'all do when y'all have issues that y'all don't agree on? Like, how is it, how do y'all resolve the issues? Like, Sometimes do y'all just agree to disagree. Really? Yes. That's important. Because. You gotta understand that uh, everybody is not going to be always on the same page. Mm -hmm. So you just got to respect that person for who they are and, you know, their beliefs and their feelings. And, you know, if you don't understand, try to understand. Mm-hmm. And y'all are high school sweethearts, is that right, Lamar? Yep, yep. Wow. First. See what I mean? She said friends first. See, that's important because I think some people, they get caught up in themselves and then, you know, they aren't, they aren't, always, aren't always conscious and end up having children, right? It happens a lot, right? But not all of them are able to respond the way you guys have because y'all had kids before y'all got married, but y'all still maintain that love in that relationship for the children, for your child at that time, which is my goddaughter. Shout out to Mike. Um, but <laughs> but y'all still maintain that discipline and, and making sure that she's seeing her parents every day for the rest of her life. Not spending time with mom, not spending time with dad. You know what I mean? And I'm not discouraging people who do that because other people right now, and it's the, the increase of divorce and the increase of single parent homes is increasing. Like, it's happening more. It's not like it's just going away. So I figure if we can highlight the ones that are doing the right things, right, then we can make everybody become a little bit more conscious and start duplicating what y'all doing. Y'all are setting the tone. You know what I'm saying? Like how, how y'all mothers and fathers try to do better for y'all. You know, we learn from their mistakes. I sure enough did. We learn what they did wrong versus what they did good. And then we try to put it together like so we can master it. Like I'm trying to master fatherhood even though me and NJ mom is not together, I'm still making sure, you know, I'm engaged in his life. Because I know that that to become a man, he can't learn that from a woman. As much as she could teach and preach, he can't learn that from a woman. That's why I got to primarily be there. Hence me being primary custodian, you know. But I think that uh, every other man is capable of doing the same thing if the relationship with the mother is not working. It's got to be plan B. All right, what you going to do? You going to just... Let the child grow up and not see you, or you're gonna make time and spend time and incorporate you, you know, mentally, physically, and emotionally with that child. And I just want to commend y'all for what y'all are doing. Y'all are just prime examples of the way, you know, parents are supposed to be. And essentially, we all gotten rid of disease, as you as you see. I speak up highly about you two on, on the YouTube. You know what I mean, you know, this is this is history, and um, and the kids aren't gonna forget it. You know, I, I see the way they're playing around. They happy. They're happy, though, because y'all are happy. And they're not having, I'm almost certain, you know, so they're not having emotional issues and school issues. Every one of the children are happy from money to my Like, they're happy. And I think that's just, a, you know, just based on what they're seeing in the house, y'all. Two thumbs up.
So I just wanted to let y'all know, you know. And every and every 